So welcome back. On last week's show, if you remember, we were looking at the cold calling process and how while it works and is utilized by many companies, it's not necessarily the most effective and efficient way of getting new prospects. And if you remember, it was taking up to eight hours on average for most industries to close a client under that way of working. We're gonna to look today at the referral process. Let's just clarify the referral process. There's three people in the referral process. There is you, as the salesperson, there is a prospect you're looking to sell to, and there's the referral source or the person who would be introducing you to that prospect. For example, your friend is standing there and they're complaining of a bad back, and they turn around and said, "Oh, my back's really hurting. You know, can you introduce me to a good Cairo?" And I say, "Oh, that's interesting because I had a bad back, and the Cairo I used was Doctor Joe." and they did a great job. Would you like me to recommend you to them? The prospect says, yes, please. That is a referral. So let's just look at this triangle again. In the referral process, the first thing that happens is we have relationship the same as in the cold calling process. The difference is that when the referral source has a relationship with the prospect, the prospect listens. When they say, you need to see this doctor, the prospect, because they have respect for you in a relationship, is more inclined to do the deal. It's a much stronger relationship. Now, here's the other thing. Is it possible that the referral source can also ensure that there's a need before they introduce you? A lot of referrals I see out there are really great because people refer each other, but when they get there, there's no need been developed, and so the person has to move into a sales process. More about this in a second. If the referral source can ensure there's a need before they introduce you, again, the process becomes even quicker. However, is it possible that the prospect still obstructs or says, you know, maybe they're a little bit expensive, I'm not sure about this. The referral source can also be trained to deal with that. Is it possible that the referral source can even say, do you know what, I know they appear a little bit expensive, but what I found was they get the job done in two sessions, whereas their cheaper competition can take three or four sessions, even five, and you end up being off work, which costs you more money. Client goes, oh, well, that sounds better. Okay, introduce me. So in this scenario, the referral source has done all the work for you and refers you. You as the salesperson could potentially have a closed deal with no work. In this case, the salesperson spent no time at all. Now this would be an ideal scenario, of course. A lot of business people out there are getting referrals and there's a lot of networking groups where referrals are generated for each other. The challenge is, if the referral source is not trained to refer you in this manner, you may be getting referrals, but they're not closed deals. What in fact happens is they're referring you here with no need being developed and the triangle changes shape and potentially goes back to being almost a cold call. This is where a lot of people think they're getting really high quality referrals and in fact they're getting not a lot better than cold calls. So make sure your referral source is trained.